A personality might draw a weekend crowd, but it really does take a team to create healthy systems that foster sustained growth and opportunities for life change. Your senior leaders are best positioned to help your ministry achieve the mission and vision God has given your church. If you feel stuck in your ministry, you might want to stop looking at your frontline staff, your volunteers, and general membership, and instead spend a little more time evaluating the health of your senior leadership team. But before we get into that, take a minute to hit the subscribe button on the screen. Here at the Unstuck Group, our goal is to help pastors like you grow healthy churches by guiding you to align vision, strategy, team, and action with every tool and process we develop our priority is to help churches help people meet and follow Jesus. We're here to help you get your church unstuck, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. Your senior leadership team, it includes the senior pastor and the group of leaders that oversee the day-to-day -day operations of the church. And in most large churches, these are all staff leaders. For a church to be healthy, there are seven roles that the senior leadership team must fulfill. First, modeling team-based ministry from the top of the organization. It gets very difficult to challenge other staff and volunteer leaders to build and develop teams in the church if it's not being modeled from the top. Secondly, identifying and implementing a strategy for accomplishing the vision. This team should fill that gap between vision and execution of day-to-day -day ministry. Number three, it's all about leading the staff and volunteers. Every person, whether they're in staff or a volunteer role, they need to be connected through the organizational structure back to someone on the senior leadership team. Number four, this team needs to keep everyone aligned and focused on the vision, the strategy, and execution of priorities. In the early days of a church plant, this is just much easier because there are fewer people initially. Church plants can stay very focused, but out of necessity. And then as the church grows, the senior leadership team will have to work hard to keep everyone focused on the church's overall vision and ministry strategy. Number five, it's all about considering and responding to the opportunities and threats that might impact the health of the church. The senior leadership team needs to keep their eyes on the environment where ministry is taking place. It's kind of similar to missions in a foreign land. We need to be aware of our surroundings to maximize the opportunities for change in our ministry strategies. Number six, it's about facilitating communications with other staff, volunteers, and the church. Once the church grows beyond two people, everyone won't be included in every conversation that shapes the direction of the ministry. And because of that, every healthy organization needs intentional communication systems. Finally, number seven is about monitoring those key metrics that make sure the ministry is moving in a healthy direction. It does no good to continue doing church without knowing whether or not what we're doing is helping people take their next steps toward Christ. So is the church healthy? Are people taking next steps? Are you reaching new people? You can't always trust your gut. Now that you understand the roles of senior leadership, how do you identify who should be on this team? Here are seven questions to help you identify who should be your senior leaders. And this is, of course, assuming the candidates have already met the qualifications of leadership defined by scripture. The first question is, do they have the leadership gifts? If they aren't leaders, they shouldn't be on this team. You also need to consider leadership capacity. And for this team, I, this is using the language of Exodus 18, you ultimately need leaders of hundreds and thousands. They don't have to be literally leading that number of people, but instead, it's really a metaphor for their leadership capacity. Number two, are they big picture thinkers? In other words, these leaders, they need to prioritize the church's health over what's happening in their specific ministry areas. They don't let their passion for specific ministries get in the way of making decisions that help the entire church take a step forward. The third question is, are they strategic thinkers? Because you need people who can think beyond the daily details. They find people who can think about the future and then they can strategically propose how to take people there. Number four, can they build teams? As the church grows, you also need people who can develop staff teams. If their instinct is, I need to do this myself, you really have the wrong person for this role. Number five, 
Do they share the vision and values of the organization? This is no team for people with pride about themselves on being kind of the devil's advocate in your organization. Every leader at this level needs to be 100% on board with the church's vision, values, and strategies. Number six, do they help us reflect the diversity of our ministry? Let's face it, leadership comes in a variety of shapes and sizes based on someone's gift mix, their background, their personality and experiences. And because of that, the team needs to reflect the community we're trying to reach. And finally, number seven, are they lifelong learners? Ideally, you'll identify people who will grow with your organization. You need people who embrace leadership development for themselves and their teams. And honestly, I'm not as much concerned with the amount of existing knowledge someone has, but rather their ability to pursue new wisdom by being able to ask the right questions. As the church grows, your leadership team, it needs to reflect the ongoing changes your ministry is experiencing. With that in mind, every 18 to 24 months, you may want to ask yourself, do we have the right people on the team in the right roles? If you sense you don't have the right people on your team, that may be the current lid on your ministry. So don't miss this opportunity to propel your ministry to new levels of kingdom impact by creating a healthy senior leadership team that in turn is creating a healthy church. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. If you're looking to take the next step towards healthy church leadership, one of our experienced ministry consultants would love to help your church define a path forward. To learn more, visit us at theunstuckgroup.com and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more church leadership videos like this.